Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I want to talk about five pathogens that we see in the mouth when people have periodontal disease. The bad news is up to 70% of the population in this country has some form of periodontal disease. The good news is you can treat it. Problem with periodontal disease is you don't know you have it. It doesn't cause any pain. You're totally unaware of it. By the time you're aware of it, generally, it's so far advanced that often teeth have to be removed. So let's talk about the different organisms that we see in periodontal disease. First, there are the spinning rods, which are in generally an earlier form of periodontitis or periodontal disease. They are fairly aggressive. Uh, there are some of them right here. There's a spinning rod right here. There's another spinning rod right there. Then come the gliding rods. It's usually a little more advanced at that point. Then we start to see spirochetes. At that point, it's really getting pretty advanced and getting even more serious to your general health. And these particular spirochetes, the ones from the mouth, are being found in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. After spirochetes come amoeba, and when we see amoeba, it's usually a very, very severe or advanced form of gum disease. Now these amoeba, they move very, very slowly, but what they do is they use these pseudopods and they actually engulf the white blood cells that are there to fight the disease, and they engulf them, and they actually eat them and destroy them. After we see amoeba, then the next step is trichomonads. We don't see trichomonads very often, and when we do, that's usually a very, very significantly advanced form of periodontal disease. And by the way, trichomonads are by far the most virulent and aggressive of the organisms that we see in periodontal disease. And it's the same kind of organism that we see in STD, or sexually transmitted diseases. They're very active, they have little flagella that almost look like whips that help them move around, but when we see those, we're generally facing a pretty significant form of aggressive periodontitis. By the way, all patients virtually ask me, where do these come from? They come from everywhere. They can come from food, they can come from pets, they can come from kissing. It's not where they come from. It's if you have little pockets that they get into, they breed, they multiply and cause infection. So you're going to be exposed to them, but you want to have an environment that is not conducive to their reproducing and causing infection. If you have bleeding gums, that's almost always a sign that some of those pathogens are there. So there should be no bleeding gums if your teeth are shifting or starting to get loose. Those are all signs of periodontal disease. Just make sure you get checked regularly because these pathogens are associated not only with gum disease, but they affect your whole body. At any rate, get rid of all of these things. Get your mouth healthy. Get your body healthy. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to keep you updated on lots of things all the time. Have a healthy mouth. You'll have a healthier body. Take care. Restore your smile and your health with the help of Dr. Nemeth and his associates. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.